Hello everyone and welcome back to our King Arthur Knight's Tale playthrough. We're now on part 21. We're doing the Heart of Midnight mission. And we've been tasked to... Uh, ...take back control of three shrines, which we've now done. And now we need to push into the centre of the map... ...to fight the Midnight Knight. What are we going to do now? We do have one campfire left. Everybody is on full HP and armour, barring the Hermit. Who joined us in the first episode? We do have to keep him alive. You'll find the place of death and rebirth there. The wound that bleeds until all shards are removed. What are you even talking about? I must leave. I cannot let midnight devour my soul. It would make him much too powerful. It sounds like a cowardly excuse. What did you expect from a mad old man in the woods? You in hell. Oh, the irony, Dread Knight. You can't see it yet, but you will. You just can't stop with the cryptic remarks, can you? Leave. Oh. I feel like he's going to be a bad guy. The heart of Avalon. So I'm glad we kept him alive. The place where everything ended and begun. Where both the king and I perished, only to return again. Right knowing that we wasted our blessing on him though, which was something like 25% max armor for the rest of the mission. Take a look at this. Which would have been really handy for Alan or Kay. But no, we put it on him instead. Right, well that's... oh, never mind. Oh Jesus Christ. What the hell is that? So you're gonna join our party, yeah? Join the course. Nice, nice. Are you ready to join my round table? We have tried that once, Arthur. It didn't end well, remember? Arthur, I knew that name once. Once I was the king. In the future, I will be so much more. I don't think so. Time to finish what we have begun. No. Oh, bloody banshees. I hate them so much. Night of Midnight. Christ. He's that big. He's actually got his own health bar in the middle of the screen. So, these are obviously sending him... I'm assuming some sort of power health thing. So he's got a single melee strike which can do 12 to 20 damage. Um, great. That literally takes away HP in two attacks. Ignition. Ignite the ground around the caster, dealing high instant damage. And then moderate damage for two turns. 10 to 16 damage. And then a bone kit. Catches the target in a cage of bones for three turns. Target is stunned and immune to any other effect for the duration. Prisoner can be freed by destroying the cage, which has 20 vitality. Right, okay. I mean, that's pretty strong. It's three turns and they're stunned. I appreciate it's only got 20 vitality, but it's got a range of 10 tiles, so if we move up our melee units and Lady D's at the back, he could just trap her in a cage. So Oh, but then we need to move out really to take out the banshees. Hmm, this is an interesting fight. Already. And to top it off, he's got what looks like about 20 armor, 65 HP, and 200 vitality. Um. Come on, yeah, but weirdly enough, he's only got 50% physical debuff. How the hell is that even possible? The guy's... Uh, right, okay. Who's the easiest one to take it down? Probably the Shrine Hag. So, Mordred. Let's start chipping away his armor. Field charge. There even any point? Probably not. Take this one down for me. 
Nope. Take it down for me, not miss. Uh, this could be bad actually, because he's going to get attacked in the back, but never mind. Here, you take this side. Uh, did we do an overwatch? A shaker. Six AP. Play what? Reserve your AP. Plant. I sort of want him to fight you, to be honest. No. Four defensive stance. Get loads of armor. And just go forward another one for me. Reserve your AP. And then Lady D, you can or there because of the movement. The Lord Please put her on fire. Hand. Perfect. And then you can kill her next turn. For and Camelot. everybody else? No mercy right. for I seem to remember you now. You are Mordred. Oh. Loving these little bolt things, aren't they? This battle brings back memories, doesn't no, it? No, that's all right. For king and country. You can do that. For honor. For honor. Well done. All right, move at one. Do another watch. I didn't think he would actually start with the bone cage, to be honest. Um, which is a shame, but never mind. I am ready. All right. And that takes away a lot of armor, which is a bit, um... I'm thinking, do we just go straight in for a backstab instead? The Lord is my witness. Defend yourself. Very good. We definitely need to take these... ...bags down, so Kay's gonna marathon it across the other side of the map. Okay, what can you do? Do that, take out that maiden. And then what else? Could move in and attack him. Do we bother? I suppose we need to find out how hard he hits. Your head is mine. Mordred, you're the guinea pig. <laughs> my Obey your king oh my god. <laughs> seem to have turned don't you think I, I don't know if that was oh no, I did put him did I put him in overwatch I remember that was quite funny I was just talking and then mid-sentence Balan just whacks him one awaiting your command um right here okay, can you kill this might be able to actually the normal attacks feel the pain Oh, come on. Eight. Oh, you're kidding me. Field charge. I would kill it. Your command? Uh, Lady D, can you shoot it for me? You can. Perfect. Oh. Very nice. Right, so we can just focus fire on the big guy. Oh, and I double clicked. No. Right. That's not what I'm going to do. Uh, cast stigma again. It is an abomination. Oh. What's going on? Coming in reinforced. <laughs> Fool, I am Camelot. I am the round table. He's got bone spikes now as well. I have some experience in destroying both. <laughs> Does indeed. Uh, well, yeah, we're gonna have to take these out twice. Which is a bit unfortunate, as that is wasting his time. But never mind. Play along. Our attack. Oh yes, in there. 
Beautiful. And you can do another attack as well. Jesus. Right, a little concerned about this last night here. Being next to the The Lord guides my hand. Get yourself a bit. Don't risk it. Kneel before you. Even now. See, I knew that. I told you. If I put Lady D away, he's gonna bone cage you. He has. Oh, and that's a, not a euphemism. Awaiting your command. Right, okay. You're gonna have to go talk talk with this guy. Take him out for me. For oh my god. You're an absolute beast. Mordred, charge this hag. Oh no. Oh, she dodged two of the three attacks. Are you kidding me? Right, Balan. Get his attention here. He's nearly dead. I don't think we're doing too badly. All things considered. We might be able to kill him this turn. Your Highness. Um... Can't reach that one. Two. All right, you can reach this one though. Oh, do that for me. A bit of damage. Let me cut you to size. Kills her. Oh, it's not enough. Enough damage. That crossbow's gonna come back as well, which is annoying. Give him one, you might as well. I can take them all. Oh, one more attack. You're dead. A foul blow. Dead now. Go oh, Mordred. Let me cut you to size. Go on. Night of midnight. This island is too small for two round tables. I'm very cheesy. Very cheesy indeed. Um well I was expecting that to be longer, to be honest. And much more difficult. Took a bit of damage, yeah. You know, a few points of armor, some HP. But chest ahead. Yeah. Oh, that's a classic Dark Souls. Um, but I was thinking we would have... Somebody might have died or... And found. At least taken vitality damage. And we had a campfire left as well. So that's pretty good. Time to pray, sinners. Oh, and a shrine as well. Regain armor. Really matter, does it? Uh, I think that's it. Bit annoying as well, actually, because I ended the last episode thinking that this could be on for a while. Oh, as we get a cutscene either. Please don't tell me she's going to reach out with the sword. The end is only the beginning, Sir Mordred. Does this mean we are finished here? It is not over yet. I was mistaken. How? I killed this thing my old enemy had become. You have destroyed one aspect of King Arthur. His rotting husk. What? 
What have you done? What I was meant to do. I tried to bring him back. I even broke some rules. But the curse was so potent that even I had no power over it. With my last breath, I unleashed the might of Avalon at him. Your magic, which made him immortal, couldn't kill him. No. It tore him into shreds. Into four soul fragments. You've just killed one of them. So, my battle with Arthur is not over yet. Shall I be angry or glad? Destroy the three soul fragments of Arthur. Then you'll be free. Wait for the ravens that bring you guidance. From a queen you killed with your own hands. That's not over. That was a pretty cool cutscene as well. Well, you ducked one. So, no. Oh, we did get level up. Mordred has leveled up, which is good. More gold and resources. More sigils and artifacts. We did get Ring of the Blighted. Grants the summon lost. Usable once per mission. Creates a walking dead on the selected location until the end of the encounter. You control the unit. That's pretty cool, I suppose. Now, if the hero's attacked, the hero's attack would leave a unit below 50% vitality if killed instead. Oh, that's cool. Is that permanent? Not permanent, I suppose. Like, is it continuous? Not just a once per game thing. That would make killing the lost so much easier. Uh, but Curse of the Lost is minus 10% total HP. So it has got its negatives. Was Hero returned. Oh, hold on, Act 2. Lambo has returned. My knight dealt with the bandits, killing them to the last man. Pat Sir Lanvil on the shoulder for the victory. He gains 40% XP and increases his loyalty by 2. Which is really good actually because his loyalty was... Well, it must have been a minus 2 because <laughs> it's now at 0. That's balanced him out. Uh, Barlin's been fully healed. Good. Regained vitality and Hector has been healed of his injuries. So that now means we can stick Hector. In there for a turn, we'll pay. It's only 136 gold, we've got plenty. And now everyone should be available for selection. Have a look at his level up then, shall we? I suppose we haven't done one of these for a while, so we could go through the heroes and what we have. Um, I'm not probably not going to do or start any more missions. So if this is incredibly boring to you, then feel free up here. Um, I'll pick up the next episode with the next side mission or main mission, depending on what we have. So we've got two skill points. What do we want? 30% mental debuff. Okay. Uh, hero loses one less AP. I really like this. Like, Balan was incredible last mission. The fact that he now has an extra AP means he can attack twice in every round. Um, it was really good. This is also quite good. Flurry, deal 100% weapon damage to two adjacent enemies. It also gets cleave as well, which is quite uh, interesting. Thunderbolt, what else? Thunderbolt reduces the target's armor by two. by two tiles, 25% weapon damage. That's not bad, I mean it would go to 150, so we could get the, the armor reduction and the damage increase. Uh, but I think we are going to take this. I think it'll just be so much better. I should really be taking that um, for everyone that has the option to. So K have the option to as well. He does, yeah, and he desperately needs that after that mission. It, he could barely move and attack in the same turn. So uh, I think when he levels up, we will definitely be investing in that one. 
And what else? We've got some legendary uh, medium armor sigil as well. We've got a few things. Back up here for now. Let's see if we've got any new dive missions. A natural order at the Bridge of Sorrow. What's this? Natural order. A mysterious druid asks for an audience, and the cause of my headache is Sir Ector once again. His ill fated ritual brought back some dead from beyond, and one of them was a powerful sage and wizard in life. Rest of soul roams the forest around the Bridge of Sorrows and may become a vessel for hours. At least this annoying fool thinks so. He may have a point though. Ah, in. We are going a uh, tyrant rule, so it looks like we have to dismiss the druid. And Balan is going to lose a loyalty, which is unfortunate. Uh, we could send Sector to deal with it, but then that would give us a rightful point, which we don't want. So, yeah, we're going to dismiss. And that, oh, that's put us so close to unlocking the restock goods, which actually is great. We much prefer to go down the Black Knight or uh, Sir Bedivere. But slowly we're getting there. And we do have a new mission available as well. But no side vision, it looks like. The main mission is the besieged castle at the Needle Tower. Let's have a quick look. The Lady of the Lake told me to wait for guidance from a queen I killed to find my way to the shards of Arthur's soul. Her annoyingly cryptic remark alluded to Queen Guinevere, of course. So I wasn't surprised when I received a message from Queen Guinevere by a raven that could talk. Guinevere is under siege. If I help her, I will get that promised guidance. Oh, let's go to Queen Guinevere's aid. So, help Lady Guinevere defeat the attackers, and we have to pick some Mordred. Enemy type picked. Yeah, that's a new enemy. We may have seen them before. I think we may have uh, fought them somewhere. I can't remember where now. The previous mission, but that's um, going to be quite interesting. As we have only just been fighting brigands and lost at this point. And then we just get some bonus rewards as a resource. Nothing flash, no new heroes as of yet. So let's have a quick look then. We can upgrade anybody. Got. Uh, I mean, that's not terrible. We lose 4 HP, but we gain an extra AP. But then considering we just took the, the new skill for Mordred. Not overly concerned with that. And now, so I think we'll leave that one. Probably could do with selling a lot of these as well. A lot of these are replicas. Uh, I think Mordred's probably got the most hit points. Uh, I do think we should give this ring to him. Yeah, he does lose a few hit points. But. The fact that we get to summon a loss every game, or every mission, they're not fantastic, but it's an extra enemy for our enemy to fight. Um, but I really like the hero's attack, so if it leaves a unit below 15%, it is killed instead, which is really good. And that'd be really handy for fighting, well, anything, but I think they're lost in like, low health enemies in particular, where one hit isn't just quite enough to kill them. But if you knock them below 15%, then they die. So that's pretty good. The Kyr's already got a legendary Dag Antlers of Arduin, which is pretty good. Two damage for his cleave attack. And then two damage until the end of the encounter for each character bolt. You got anything new we can give him? Um, so this sigil Aru does a couple less damage, but does an extra 10%. Uh, in the armor breaking field, which is quite good, and four damage against unharmed units. I suppose the first attack against most people um, deals an additional four damage, which is pretty good. Got any new sigils? Not really. Again, this one might be worthwhile. 
because we're only losing one HP point and we're gaining an AP. So I think we are actually going to swap that out for now. That will help massively with an extra AP. Again, a, a lot of these are the same, really. And we'll keep that for now. He needs the extra AP. I don't think we got anything new there, did we? No. We've got a legendary boar as well, which is good. Uh, there was a couple of other things as well that I skipped over before. Um, so, we had a couple more essences to assign. So we gave the essence of mending to Sir Kay. That heals a selected hero for 20% of their maximum vitality after every mission. Because I think, obviously, him being a, a real hard hitter, send him out quite often. And he does take a little bit of vitality damage now and again. So as long as it's not over 20%, he'll heal. That saves us putting him in the, the hospice. Pretty good. And we assign the Essence of Annihilation to Mordred. So he gains an extra 10% additional weapon damage. Which is pretty good. Because he can usually get up about 3 attacks a turn. So I thought if we up his overall damage, obviously, that's... Um, Three additional, well, three attacks he does obviously every turn with 10% additional damage, so it adds up. And did we have another one? No, we didn't, it was just those two. So that's fine. I'm in a little bit of a situation though as to who we sort of focus with now. Obviously, Sir is out for the next mission because he's healing. I mean, we've got some. Similar heroes, so Lanville, Balan, Kay, they're all well, they're champ champions, they're heavy hitters. We've got Lady D and Sir Yvain, which obviously are the ranged. Um, Balin's a unique one at the minute, the vanguard. Quite sneaky, throw down traps, quite useful, can be a bit versatile. Um, Ector's obviously our only mage caster, wielder if you will, magic wielder. Um, and Mordred is obviously the tank. But we do have... Uh, where are they kept? I, I totally forgot about to be honest. Um, I didn't even know they were added for a long time. But we do have Sir Pelias and Sir Tristan in here. But obviously Pelias is pretty similar to Mordred. The defender, so a tank. Um, but he's got rightful morality. Which is not the path that we're going. And he is level 3, so he's heavily um, under leveled right now. And the same for Sir Tristan, really, as well. He's a vanguard, so similar to uh, Balin. Again, Balin's better because he's had more experience. We've got more skills with him. But I suppose we could maybe give them a go. I don't really know. I don't know who else we're going to get in the story later on in the game and things, so try and keep some slots open for those heroes because they could be better than what we have now so if you guys you know have a recommendation or a preference please let me know I think we need to start not necessarily choosing the same ones and I think it might be difficult to choose the same for every mission obviously if someone gets injured or they have a lot of vitality damage you need to swap them out so we need to have a good solid six or seven um, heroes that we use quite often. I think now, as we're getting further into the story, we need to focus on the same six or seven. So yeah, let, let me go. Uh, let me know. Let's right, say so if you have a preference or you just like somebody for what they do. I think Mordred and Kay are probably the two favourites. I mean, Mordred you have to take on most missions anyway. I think if not all. And I I love Kay. I think he's an absolute beast. I think he's just the damage he can do is incredible. So I think he'll be staying with us for as long as we can keep him. But I'm going to end this one here. Slightly shorter than normal. But yeah, we'll pick it up in the next episode where we go and help the Queen uh, the Besieged Cashel mission. Cashel. Castle. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I shall see you in the next one.